All right, so me and my sister are just packing up to go to our cottage, is which is in Washago, Aurelia. And we're both gonna go fishing for a little bit. Here's what I'm bringing. I'm just bringing a backpack because I'm really full of fishing stuff. My rod, just one rod, and a GoPro. So we're gonna be going for bass, sun, or she's going for sunfish and panfish and stuff. I'm assuming, and then I'm going for large with bass, small with bass and pike. <coughs> So that's gonna be pretty cool. All right, we're here. It's like four degrees out. It's freezing. The water's super clear here. I'm gonna start off with a sanko. Not sinking too well. Okay, there we go. So I think this is like a two-inch sanko. It's a green something. I don't know what the color is. Green. Alright, so I'm pretty loud, the audio is probably pretty bad, and you probably can't see much. <laughs> but, I was here about three months ago, and I left that there. It hasn't moved. <laughs> Alright, I got the first one of the trip. There we go. I actually uh, went in, I lost him before breakfast, and then I went in for breakfast, came back, and here he is. Came back. I, I'm already recording. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, I caught that one off. Uh, I'll show you guys. I don't know what size jig head that is, but that's a longer hunt nymph. That seems to be working pretty well. <coughs> Especially in fast moving water, I noticed that works really well. Yeah, I highly recommend coming to this place in uh, summer. This is Little Falls Cottages in Washago, really. The, I think it's largemouth and pike is the best. Smallmouth sometimes is good, it's not always great, but the largemouth seem to be always here. Alright, <laughs> little baby rock bass here. It's not bad, I guess. Audio is probably really bad right here. That little dam kind of thing. Well, I hope I'm good. There he is. All right, another one. <laughs> this one's like very, very, very small. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> 